Mm, what's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the King of Portugal. And in this episode we have laid siege to the city of Copenhagen and we are about to take it because, well, it's a, it's a very infantry heavy army and we've got crap loads of artillery that we're just going to blow the, blow the bejesus out of them. So let's have at it that after this it means Sweden only has two more cities remaining. Once we take Stockholm, uh, the army that's around Finland will start to become, or well, the armies around Finland, will start to become quite heavily attrited because they won't have the funds to keep them all going. So then as we get our troops into position, they'll slowly start to lose troops. And then once that's done, we'll spin around and focus on Saxony. But first, let's get rid of the Swedish army. So all my artillery is going to sit on this slight rise here. Fire over our heads. Then we've got... Collect all our infantry, that's 225. And they're going to push. Howitzers. Pop off shots from the rear, firing round shot because you've got a lot, firing quick line rather because you've got lots of infantry to chew through. Put my elites on the left, that's where the Casador are going to be. Split up the cavalry. Okay, select howitzers first and make sure that we have them actually attacking their infantry. Let the foot artillery and the rockets engage whomever they desire. Run my line up, take my guards, capture the high ground. Hazardor support. Run my cavalry up here as well, make sure my sharpshooters are on fire at well off. Excellent rocket artillery fire. These improved rockets? They are. It's improved rocket troops. We get lots, lots, and lots of rockets. Actually, let's not hit the lifeguards foot with artillery. Let's go after other people. This is going to be the, an interesting one. I might have to bring a... Bring a unit of Cressier back here because 90 Cressier versus 90 lifeguards force. They might actually beat me there. Soon, soon the core of their infantry is going to go. Let's make sure my howitzers are working the right flank. So that's where the where our, dis, where our current disparity is. I mean, that's a good hit. So if another one comes in there, more rocket artillery. Lifeguards, well, my sharpshooters just open just fire. One well, of my infantry units is wavering. Yeah, I'm actually losing to their lifeguards, of course. Excellent. Yeah, they're chewing through my curiosity. Yeah, they are a capable cavalry unit. Okay, let's keep pushing around this flank. There go the curiosity. Yeah, they finally broke. Here's another. I mean, it's not looking good. good. Especially when all the infantry have got a fusiliers nearby. Fusiliers can deploy stakes. Okay, sharpshooters, ch no, don't chase down the militia directly, run around. Just 
Actually, no, you're going to have to engage. No, you're going to engage the Hussars. Bring these cuirassiers back into the lifeguards of horse. They're down to 44. Okay, I think the... Okay, now we're starting to get a bit of an advantage. My cavalry's coming back. Charge into our lines. Not a bad move. Because that is our fusilier flank, but... They have... They have only used militia. So they start to attack ground in front of us so they don't actually uh, start to take us out. There we go. We bogged down their cavalry. And now we've taken out their lifeguard of horse. Former. Redirect the artillery. Send my guards over here to help out. Fold my cuirassier into the line. More rockets are on the way. Yeah, well now they now they threw the militia in. It's worth throwing my guards in. Because light cavalry sharpshooters on their own are just a bit vulnerable. Been quite a good slow fest actually. Mr. Toe to toe with the enemy. Fire, turn fire well on again because they're just going to focus on the artillery. There you go, the guardsmen are going to turn this around, the militia are already wavering. How else is it going to get destroyed? Artillery to focus on the militia. More rockets. <laughs> Chasing them off the field. This cavalry just smashed the line infantry. Advance up the line in general. How it says engage the superior line. Guards push up on the flank. Excellent. Round shot, focus on the superior line. Taking hits. thing left is this artillery unit, which once they start getting fired upon, yeah, they're not going to like that either. There we go. Excellent. Oh, that was quite good. Oh, I lost a bunch of cavalry there, hopping over the barricade. Quite a lot of cavalry, actually. Down to three. Trixie, Trixie barricades, but still, the victory was ours. Oh, we lost the cavalry unit entirely. We'll have to get another. So let's get all this rebuilt, and they're particularly unhappy because there's a university nearby. There it is. Let's get rid of you. Build a port, build the farm, get rid of the church school. Actually, let's not get rid of me. I want to build one of my own church schools because I am a Catholic, whereas this is going to be Protestant. Yeah, we don't want any of you. Excellent. So once we get rid of the, the university, that will bring the clamor for reform down a lot. As we get the buildings repaired, that will put up repression. That's pretty good. But yeah, these guys, they're going to start suffering from attrition. They aren't already necessarily yet, because that there is a, still a flag that's not touched. Oh, he's already assassinated someone with him. So let's 
push this this army out of Norway. I may even send extra troops up because we've got these armies running around here. Because once we take Stockholm, we're gonna have to squeeze them up into northern Sweden. Uh, you just go after Mr. Moberg. He's a legacy item. You drop them. Just a wave of line infantry. You'll just cut them to ribbons. Excellent. Let's get you around. I mean, it's, it's definitely quicker to go by sea, but there's no real urge to do that yet. We can take a couple of turns. The end turn phase doesn't take long. There's only two factions. Cool, let's sit and turn. Plenty of troops pushing up. <laughs> so many armies. Yeah, so they are. They, yes, they may push troops down towards Stockholm to help defend it. That's part of the reason why I wanted a bit of extra firepower. Just a little bit more. Well, I'm not sure why Saxony's dragging it out. What do they have to, to gain? I always like to think that when the AI is make not is is unable to make a decision, it's the uh, it's the AI actually playing the ultimate game where they've decided actually the best way to attack the player is to attack their attack their computer and attack their uh, patience. There we go, see they like us now. So if I go to coaching in and craft workshop, they'll be just fine. Uh, uh, regiment of horse will do. Big question is, can I leave? Minus seven, no, not yet. Although I, don't, I should, oh, I haven't got, uh, Dragoons. Don't need to, don't need to watch Munich. Yeah, you just sit here and raid the pleasure gardens to try and make them upset, but they can't actually push. Okay, let's go here. Embark. Oh no. Whew. Thank god I didn't. Uh, it wasn't the actual army that I maneuvered. You actually, you're a bit of a boring army. You're more fun. Embark. Excellent. So you stay here with them. For I me, mean, effectively, we want we want uh, two armies to attack every city. I mean, actually, if I start building, I'm good. I don't don't need to start building. I've got plenty. It's fine. Let me get you over to the west side. Let's jump on Berlin. Because these guys may have to fight their way through a army to get there. Other than that, though, give everyone the orders just to keep on running. You'll never get there in time, but I may as well get you started on the long walk. You guys just can stay as governors of India. Well, not India. Uh, sorry. Uh, the Middle East. There we go. No, stop. Build. Stop building. Cool. Yeah, if I start building, I'll be here for freaking ages. And we just don't need the money.
Good, good, good. We've got a bunch of armies pushing on Stockholm. It looks like they want to make a big battle of it, which is fun. So we'll attack the armies outside the city, then we'll push and capture the fort itself. Yeah, you guys want to be concerned. Because we come and get you. We're surrounded, you. <laughs> we have completely just surrounded their little empire. And they must be going, uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good at all. No, no need to wait. Raid the workshop. Consolidate all the friends. They want to come after one of us, they come after all of us, and then we all move together in one clump. Oh, you haven't replenished yet. Let's try the same over here. Slowly scoot forward. Can't actually assassinate their army commanders. See Try get you. Yeah, next turn you can go for them. Next turn, I mean, I mean here I'm just kind of waiting to see if they attack us because that's a lot of troops. Let's hit in turn again. Making good progress. <laughs> I mean, all these, all these uh, asphalt roads suddenly really do start to start to help with strategic mobility. Who would have thought it? Ah, oh, the gentleman's going to go try and see if they can steal some secret texts. So they've annoyingly attacked the weakest part of my army, but you can see they are all heavily, heavily depleted. So, I don't think it's going to actually matter a huge amount. One thing I am going to do is say... Some of this infantry I'm just going to want to run away. I mean, artillery... Whatever happens, artillery is what I want the least. Except for the heavy horse artillery, because that's fun. But let's do it. So my plan is serve a defensive position and run some of my troops away because they're quite low. They're less than half strength. Well, they're actually just a bit over half strength. But it's, although it doesn't really matter because they're really weak too. Um, no, I don't think it'll matter. They're we might be weak, but they're weaker than us, especially with everyone else involved in the back. So, force them to come to me. Let's put two units of artillery in the line. Let's actually group my weak units together in the center. Another unit here. Actually, you can stand to be stretched out a little bit more. Take some of our strong units to form our flank. Yeah, you'll come out here as well. So these are the artillery units I've deployed. These units sit on the high ground at the back. They're going to try and do counter battery first, uh, first and foremost. Howitzers just drop off shots. I mean, 
we are almost exclusively focused on their, where their reinforcements are coming in from, so hopefully they all come in from the back. Oh, that's my my cav. I was like, ha, the fools. Oh yeah, they're coming. They're coming for us. Run, lances, run. They want to come at us. They really have to. They have to carve their way through our line. They've wheeled off because they know that pushing an infantry line on their own is a bit dicey, but actually they don't care. They're going to push close enough in to get shot at. So these two 12 pounders. Actually, they can't do counter battery exclusively because they're too far back. What they can do is attack their general. These ones have just fired, so I think and the, their field of fire is not so... Oops, general. They all fired over their heads and didn't get a sausage. Get him. Excellent hits. That's right, you better run. Pinch of should break. Oh god, they just got they got shattered. Yeah. Okay, halt, fire at will, pick new targets. Just a bit too far for those six pounders. Here comes the general. The general's had enough too. And it's still shot. Suddenly, oh no, those guns are pointing at us. This general in the hand, he loves the artillery fire. Oh man, you can see 10 new guns. Firing at point blank range. Oh, <laughs> they blew onto pieces right under the muzzle of the gun. Okay. They want to come in and get involved in the fisticuffs, do they? You're going to have to engage the enemy artillery. Oh no, you're running away. Very well. Bring in the replacements. Back for a second there. Is that, wait, who was that we killed? Oh, we follow up artillery fire, I see. Help, fire at will again. I'm only speeding up while the enemy actually gets into position. Go to Union of Horse Artillery, that's pretty good. Pretty 
good looking infantry right now. The horse artillery coming, oh no, they were. chemical weapon against your troops. I mean, you might feel pretty happy because there's only a bunch of line infantry in front of you, but you know what? We can still get you. We can still tear you right open, especially as the quick claim slams home. Yeah, that's a lot of dead troops already. Boom Square, 79. Sneezing coming. There we go. Just stick with the squares. Hold the square, charge my lances in. Still shooting at this unit. My Lancer Guards are not doing so well, but that's to be expected. Yeah, it's to shrapnel these pathetic little units. This quick load continues just to eviscerate them. Okay, let's get you men out of this and get involved in the combat. So dearly, I want to send my whatever's left of my Lancer Guards to smack straight into those Irregulars. So they've, de they've deployed just out of musket range and I'm not bothered about trying to uh, I'm not bothered about trying to get move my whole line up. We're in a good position. My one cavalry units provoke their fusiliers to play stakes. Building a little base of fire. Fall back. Come at me, little Swedish fellows. Get to start knocking out some of these small units, because right now they're just bogging us down. Routing troops in one go. 38th gone, 6th gone, the 6th gone. You weaklings. Oh, they're just sending in more artillery. Ah, oh, I wish I had more cavalry. Don't worry, we'll advance soon enough. They're sending up. That's the 36th, the 30th. I just think we are just going to push them because otherwise it's going to take forever. You guys to annihilate the 30th, and then this, these units are going to push straight on towards where the enemy reinforcements are hiding. Looks like there's just a bunch of cavalry sat in the back anyway. That's 
to secure their precious stake line. on the other side of this feature. Everybody engage that heavy cavalry unit because they, they sense blood. Killed two, although that doesn't mean that they're, they're, this whole cavalry mess back here is much less protected than it was. He even form a second rank. Come on, you're in position. Make ready. Fire! All of you drop into squares. Engineers over here, fusiliers can join in the line and, and push. And you guys just keep on advancing here. Might smash this unit because they're, they're in a small square, but they're split up and they're trapped in squares. I think they're a bit knackered. For the two guns at the back, engage. Rise, stupid mouse. I need a new mouse. Artillery comes in, yeah, that could pair of them. Comes more reinforcements. damage to us with their artillery but that's unsurprising because they have loads of it. Yeah, they're all infantry units that are routing. start shooting at their artillery. Some of their artillery is actually advancing. Hey, there we go. We've knocked out that enemy unit. Yeah, they're just coming right at it. There comes the enemy cavalry. So they're gone. Yeah, there they go. Back into line. Maybe let's make all my artillery limber up and come up with us. Grenadier guards, although they're ranged cavalry, so they'll probably sit back and plink, which is fine with us. We've got plenty of plinking capability. Let's maybe get one more unit of infantry ish out here. It's not ideal, but it's. It'll add, like, it'll add a little bit of extra firepower. Let's get all our artillery up onto this high ground. 
You guys go this way to avoid the stakes. You guys. Bring my general and such around. I don't think they're going to really get here in time anyway. Ah, you guys. This is could be a bit dodgy. Form square. Pack the flanks. I don't mind. I can do with more cavalry anyway. Shooting match. Send these, put these guys over here. Okay, now they're actually starting to send up uh, full units of Marines. You guys get back here. I see more cavalry running. Stay where you are and form a square, because they'll only kill you anyway. Form square. Fusiliers have to hold. 25th Regiment. Break! Oh, no. I don't ritual that way. Go over here. Knock out that provincial cavalry, no worries. Great horse grenade guards are looking at the set. Should these guys off? Fire it will on. Oh, the Marines! There we go. Ah, what the hell? You guys get stuck in. You've earned the right. Blunderbuss shotgunners, guerrilla mercenaries, they fancy a charge? Okay, right, let's get we need to get this artillery set up rapidly. Square, there's a unit of cavalry coming in. What can really do with. Oh no, don't you waver. Withdraw. Almost in position. Bit of a cavalry charge, there we go, and now they're shattered. Let's pull the whole line back a little bit. And limba. I mean, those pikemen are going to be a bit of a problem. The infantry has to come in from the opposite side of the map. Put volleys into those pike men. Engage the marines. Okay, the howitzers just need to get out into clean space. Let's 
excellent slam shots into the ninth foot guards. There we go. Once these guys get into position, it's going to be great. Soon we will have the firepower advantage. Unlimber. Unlimber. He's still bringing in the artillery. And how it's hiring quickline would be mighty fine. Got the marines you can stop curl this flank around again if you try and go around i'm happy that my infantry in squares can deal with you well, actually we might start trying to do that now grenadiers Shrek will shot that light horse for your own safety. Our cavalry is already dead. Misses. Switch back to round shot, smash into the center. Infantry engage that infantry unit. Oh, this is just keep dropping shots onto their artillery. Square before the cavalry charge is before. Keep all this artillery shot or shot the dragoons, there's not many of them left. Infantry line. How it's his self uh, defensive quick line fire. Let's go for the superior line. One, two, go for the one. Good, let's go for back here. Artillery just pop shots off the enemy infantry. Yes, cavalry! Get over here. Oh no, not too. Not 
too directly. Hold the square, you're killing a lot of cavalry this way. Well, my general is going to charge their general with some infantry in support. You guys form a square. Come on, Grenadiers, protect the general. Excellent. And Limber. Lots of cavalry coming in. They broke that infantry unit pretty well. Form square with them. Grenadiers get involved. So Grenadiers have to go after them. Let's try hold back the line. Bring back the line, rather. By the looks of it, though, we are going to hold them off. Is about face and open fire on the sixth light horse. I'm assuming the 12th regiment's definitely gone, done for. Excellent. More infantry coming in. Say it was going to be decisive, but actually, I've got some cuirassier right here. Although, so have you. Form square infantry. Definitely my, art my artillery is keeping me alive. Although it looks like they are soon to be done. In which case then my Curiosier can just barrel straight through. I can retarget my guns to attack their infantry. Ignore the militia. Bit of friendly fire. Five cavalrymen. Charge the gunners! Kill the gunners! Kill them all! Thing. Yeah, that's it. So we're starting to get more infantry pouring in. Excellent. The horse artillery, the Kishvinda Scott artillery is gone. Gone to the 13th regiment. 
Excellent. You guys push forward because those 15th Regiment are now trying to interfere with my cavalry operations. Got them, push on to the knife. Excellent, there they go. Now it's all down to the 15th Regiment, they're the only one left standing. Even of superior line infantry, how superior can you be? Well, you've run out of ammunition, so you'd, you'd be right for being withdrawn. There we go. Ordinary line have said, right, you go. You're of no more use to me. But the body, the bodies of many a Swede and litter the battlefield. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That was a good battle. Uh, we lost a cavalry unit. But we've caused a significant amount of damage to the forces around Finland. I mean, if you fall back, then this could be GG for you, Sweden. Because, uh... We can then attack. We can attack you in both your cities without fear of reprisal. Oh no, you're going to kill our sloop. Damn and blast. Not the sloop. There were people on board. Bring in that one infantryman from the hills. Maybe the big bearded wildman can help. I don't think he can. Come on, let me in, let me in, let me in. I'm sure why it's taking so long to churn the very last turn out. Okay, fleet destroyed. It's a, it was a, it, it was a sloop. Let's not, let's not big it up to be something it wasn't. Come on now. Okay, so. You took the brunt of those hits, and you're going to request a Curacia backup unit. You also sent some troops in to help, but you didn't really. Yeah, he got a bit damaged. But this guy up front can lead the way. So if I run these guys up... If you hit Frederick and Ad Ademan, Ademan... There we go, it does bring in the rest of their forces. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing destruction of the Swedish army. Cheers, everyone.